Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. So this is a uh, this is a board game. This is a digital version of a board game that came out last year by Stonemeyer, which uh, is actually a like a like a combo of a couple different board games. There was Between Two Cities and the Castles of Mad King Ludwig, which made this. Basically, what's going on here is uh, it's sort of a uh, it's a little bit cooperative, a little bit competitive. We're going, be, we're going to be building castles today and working together to build castles. However. Our goal is to not make the worst castle, basically. We'll just, I'll show it off and we'll see what we can do here. Uh, there is, of course, online play, which you can do uh, online, uh, which no one's there. This game came out about a month ago. Doesn't seem to be the most popular, I guess. Um, and I'll show off the options there. It's not a whole lot to it, but there's a little bit. As far as controls, I'm just going to be using the mouse here. But let's go into the local play. You can go up to seven players on this. We're going to go with a I don't know, medium is the real, right, right idea for me, but we'll try it. Me and three others. I guess there is a two-player version of the game. I don't know how to do it, though. And I think you can actually do it in here, but I don't know how to do it. All right, so this is like a tile placement game. Basically, we're going to be having... We'll get a set of tiles, and we're going to pick two of those tiles to place onto our castle. Now, we have two castles to play with here. I am Nook. I have the silver castle, and I have a purple castle over on this side. So me and uh, me and Catherine are working together on this purple castle, and then me and Victoria are working on the silver castle. And so basically, the way this works is is we're both going to get a score on both castles, and whoever has the worst score, that's that's the score you go with. So whoever has the best, worst score wins the game. I know it makes no sense, but you'll understand when we get to the end of this. But uh, it's all about placing tiles. we got a hand of tiles here. We can pick one, and then place it down, and get points. And then goes on to the next one. So in this game, we've got a throne room. Both of them have a throne room to start with, and each throne room does different things. So this one gives me points based on... Um, Utility rooms, what this is, the blacksmith rooms, or the food rooms, if they are placed on this square or this square. So ideally, I then take my hand of cards here and pick ones that do that. Like, for instance, this one will give me one point because it's a blacksmith room. Um, we've got, who's the other one was cups. This one over here will give me uh, points there as well. We can go, um, this is also, you can see it's a shield, and this is, and it's got the frame. So that also comes into play. All kinds of things that kind of fit in here. It's kind of a complex game. There's a lot of little things going in there, but it's really not... I was a bit overwhelmed when I first looked at it. I've not played the board game before. It's really not that bad, though. Um, let's go with... Let's go with the pantry for this room. And then we bop back over here to the purple castle. It's different now. It gives me two points per corridor or downstairs room. Do we have any corridors and downstairs in here? We do, we do. We have a uh, the Great Hall, and we have a Hall of Creaking Floors. So you can see if that picture frame, so we put that one in the other side, it would give me points for being next to the throne room. I think we'll just go with a Great Hall. Sure. Alright, so now we're working together, right? Go back to Silver Castle. Me and Victoria. Victoria's going to place the key room over there. I will place my pantry, I guess, over on this side. And points! So we got four points for doing that. Me and Victoria have both gained four points. Back to the Purple Castle. Uh, they're placing a dungeon. Catherine is. I'll place a great hall. Doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, actually, I do want to put it below, because it's uh, it's only if it's below. You can see on this thing, there, the white card, that if I place these things in those two black spots, that's where I get points. So I want to put it down here. So, uh, let's do that. So now you'll notice that this card, for instance, says it gives points. It gives points for these uh, corridor ones, either above, all the way above, like anywhere above, or anywhere below. Like if there's cards in the way or not. This one give points for um, weapons rooms or whatever in any of those squares around it. So that's kind of how the game plays out. Um, and you can see where scores are tallied up here. And so we should, uh, as time goes on, things will get more interesting here. So let's uh, see what we can do. We got a breakfast. A breakfast nook, you say? Oh, well, we have to take that no matter what it does. Two points per... Oh, that sounds like a good one, too. Yeah, we're going with that. We can put it right down here in the... Can it go in the basement? I don't think it can. Actually, I got to take it, though. Where can it go? Per one of those. I don't know. I gotta take it, though. Well, um... <clears throat> let's see. If that one goes there, then we can go with... If we have a, um, one, a corridor that can go to the side, though, that would be real nice. But we don't. Um, yeah, corridors would be real, real nice in this castle. Any corridors? Corridor would be nice. Maybe we put in... Hmm... Per weapons room would be... The, the mold room could go... Whoops, I didn't mean to click it. <laughs> Okay, we're taking the mold room, apparently. Um, so, the breakfast nook cannot go downstairs. It has to go upstairs. Which is a problem, because I really want it to go... Um, um, yeah, it's not going to do me any good over here. 
Um, well, that wasn't really idea when I was it. So the mold room is going to be per food thing above it. We got that. So we can stick the mold room down here. It'll give me points for having the, the pantry up above it. That'll work. Place that there. That's a point. And then the other castle, we got a place. The purple castle, we're going to put the nook down. Uh, where's it going to go? Um, uh, nowhere, uh, really. Um, we'll set it here. Hopefully get a corridor in there. We can make some points off of that. No points. I think I got no points also. So for this one, for every uh, fire living room in the castle, we're going to get points for. So we want, we get living room, so we're going to put it in this castle. If we can get, however, a corridor, it'd be real nice. Like this one, the echo chamber. Echo chambers can go above or below. So we're going to make sure we get an echo chamber in here and uh, set it in either one of those. <clears throat> and then the other castle. Let's see. What do you want? Um, if we can get a food up above here, that'd be real nice. Can you get points for each one of those? Yeah, yeah. I keep clicking, thinking it'll like bring the tile out, but actually it selects it for me, so. Whoops. You go over there. That'll work. There's a point. I mean, it's something. This castle ain't doing so well. Uh, over here, though, we get the echo chamber, which is going to give you good stuff. If we put it... Um, I'm going to put it above, I think. I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Two points. Two points. Because then we can maybe get a, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping we'll get like a sword room over here or something. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't, I don't have ideas here. Uh, so for instance, for instance, this is going to be points for each of these torch rooms around, which we can put one over here, I guess, or over somewhere. Um, the Hall of Creaking Floors. Whose castle has that? All right, let's go look at this room first. All right, so we have, you want, you want corridors. This one gives me points if every color is represented in this room. Um, what's that? Per, um, oh, per living room. Nothing in there now. Per connected living room. And this was just that one. Um, we've only got, that's a frame and that's a frame. It's not really going to do me any good, though. And there's no frames or, oh, there's a frame right there. Um... Her corridor above or below it. Oh, I'll take a corridor. Stick it down there. Okay, then on this side, I guess we'll do the picture frame one. There's no living rooms in here. Perk. No, never mind. That's what we just did. Uh, I'll take a vineyard, I guess. I'll just throw it, throw it outside somewhere. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, put it there. Put it there. But, but, stop that. I want it to go, but I want it to go here. It needs to go here. Get out of there. Get out of there. So this is where the uh, my my friend is trying to place their thing, but clearly this is a better spot for me. Hmm. All right. Well, because yeah, because they get points, two points for me having it there. Oh, I haven't. I didn't. I didn't have this come across me whenever I was playing before. I wondered if the if the opponent would ever put things in, or not opponent, but the computer would put things where you didn't want them. What you would do? And I guess we just saw that. That doesn't make any sense. That's where I want to go. Because that gives me one point. That would have gotten me two points. Uh, you dumb. All right, so there's a thing in this game where you get, if you have three of the same type of card in your castle, you get bonuses. Each bonus is different. And this is one of the things where you have to, each part, you and your partner should agree on the decision, otherwise it's random. So basically we just sort of have to do what they want us to do. And I guess we got three blacksmiths in here. So we're going to place down whatever we got, um, I guess in a moment. I don't know what that one gave us. Uh, but the hollow creaking, creaking floors is going down here. Give us some points there. And, um, oh, okay. so here we go. So we got a grand foyer for having three corridors. And we, me and my partner have to agree on where to put it. So we just have to put it where the partner tells us to put it because we don't have any choice. But ideally, we're supposed to be working together to make a good castle. Whether, uh, who is that? Victoria. Whether Victoria knows that or not, she's losing. You know, why? Because she does things like that. All right, so... So there's going to be one per shield, and there's only one shield, no good. Per connected sleepy room, we got one there. Uh, passageway. This this room here has the passageway thing. Uh, not really any benefit anymore, though. Let's see here. The nap room. Uh, the pit of despair. Hey, that sounds like something I've heard of before. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Sure. The sauerkraut room. Um, oh, that'll work here too. Actually, that'll be better than the pit of despair. Take some sauerkraut in this room. We put it over here by the by the breakfast nook, 
And over on this side, we can do... Let's see, what do you want? You want... Oh, living rooms. Yeah, we do need living rooms around here. And you will benefit from more living rooms. So I guess I can put you above the key room. That might help us out. Uh, maybe up here by the washroom, so it would be kind of nearby or right here. Try to be able to build... You know, we want living rooms around here for, to connect. And then the other side, we're putting in that sauerkraut room right over here. There we go. Points! And at the moment, we are not winning. So two of us are going to lose, one person is going to win. Because me and Victoria are both losing, and Catherine is in the lead because Catherine's lowest score is 19. So, dang Victoria. Alright. More tiles. So that's kind of a dead end there. We could get a... Uh, one of these picture frame rooms might do us some good. A treasure room? That sounds like something I want to have anyway. Pumpkin garden. A crepery. Oh, oh I could put a crepery in um, right over here. The tasso room. Is it better to put it over here, though? I could. Yeah, who doesn't like crepes? I'll do that over here. And then on this side... Mirrors, that's uh, that might do us. Whoops, I keep on. <laughs> okay, well, you're gonna go right up here. I keep clicking, thinking it's going to just bring it bigger so I can so I can see the uh, card, but nope. Uh, and then the crepery is going to go next to the sleepy room, which was going to be right here. There we go. Okay. Extra tile to place. We're going to place a, apparently a morning tea room. Because that's what my computer friend wants me to do. And we're going to put it right over there. That's what my computer friend wants me to do. Alright. Doesn't matter though, because it's the same score, no matter what we get. And we'll take we'll place a grand foyer. Okay. Now, uh we're only one point behind now. Good job, uh, Victoria. For not being terrible. However, uh actually Victoria's in the lead now. Alright, so next up, we're going to be going with... Let's see, um... Ooh, this would be good. So I have to look at it down here. That's that's two points right there for the food rooms above it. Which is when I had all the food rooms? I guess that was it. That'll work. Fireplace. Per connected one of those. Per staircase. There's only one in each of these. I will take the wine cellar, though, because that's two points. We put it down here. And then the other side... Per corridor above and below it. I mean, that's that's um, that's two points also for this on this guy. Per connected, that's two points also. Uh, I'm gonna take the hidden entrance. Stick it down here somewhere. Cause that's that's uh, points. Two points there. For having having uh, corridors above and below it. Apparently, we got a lot of we got five corridors. Once you get five of the same kind of thing, you um. Uh, you, you get, it's not the specialty, you get either uh, a foyer, a fountain, or a tower. Apparently we're going to the fountain today, and we're going to put it right up there, apparently. Which just gives us five points. The tower gives you points depending on, like, how many you have, like, points for everyone below it. So if you have, like, a tall castle, it'll give you that. Uh, wine cellar, we're going with, this guy's gonna go right down here. Hey, there we go. Points! Oh, it's all very close. Okay, I think this is the last, I think round, I think there's four rounds, maybe five, I don't remember. Probably would be helpful to know. There's the Pit of Despair, which likes stairways, which could be okay, because that's two points down here at the bottom. Or we have the Quiet Room, which is each bedroom above it. No, no, I think we got to go with the Pit of Despair here. Down here below, for, uh, for the Silver Castle, and then the Purple Castle, we're going to go with... Let's see, we got a bedroom over there, bedroom over there, and you're going to be per connected sleepy room. So there's two of them here. I, I think that means we'll do it. We're going to test something here. I think that means as long as they're on the castle, you get points for it. We're going to we're going to test this theory because I'm going to place it. I'm going to give me bonus points for having um, these blacksmith things around. No. What about you over here? Um, well, I know I want you to go here. There's two points. And, ooh, uh, we want to agree on that, I guess. Want to place a tower up, up there? 
But yeah, that is a lot of points, isn't it? Okay, right there. There we go. Put up to 47 points. Okay, other room. Uh, let's see. Nothing's going to be any points for having the uh, the blacksmith things. So, I guess we're going to put it... We're going to test the theory here and see if this going to be points just just for being. Because we got two of those things. Does it give me two points? I think it did. I think it did. Is that the end? Oh, I lost! Okay, so, what was my score? 47. So we lost by two points. I blame Victoria. Clearly it was Victoria's fault. Alright, well there we go. There's Between Two Castles, Mad King Ludwig. It is available on Steam. I'll put a link below and you can check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.